Licensed therapist Donnie Van Curen joining us now in studio, and we have a heavy subject matter today. Something so important. That, yeah, that it can, we're talking about how do you talk to your kids about war. Right. And I'm sure part of this is like, you know, some parents are like, I don't have to tell them anything yet, you know, but then there's, there's, they reach a certain age where it's like, you want to be the one telling them first, right? That's right. Well, and you wonder too, what do they already know? Are they concerned? So you're really going to talk us through how we should approach this with, with our kids. So right. I, I'm really excited that we're having this conversation. Let's go through some of your tips. Number one, as you say, we should ask questions. Yeah, we really should open the dialogue because especially with our kids who are a little older, let's call it six, seven, eight, um, a lot of times what's happening, they're already hearing it, they're already seeing it. So we ask questions, you know, what are you hearing? about this subject. What are you hearing about these things going on? We don't have to put it in there, but just ask them. If they haven't heard anything, you don't go there. But you asking don't. questions, allow okay. them to have dialogue and know it's okay to have dialogue with their parents. And and number two here, you say, let your kids guide the conversation. Yeah, a lot of times we will try to push them in a direction, especially with our preconceived ideas or our political affiliation. But what we want to do is let them guide it. When they're talking about information, let them guide that and talk to them about what they're asking about. You don't have to put anything in there. If they're not talking about it, don't talk about it. If they're talking about that subject, if they're mentioning it, go ahead and go there. What do you say? Like my son was like, are we going to have World War III? I like just looked at him. I was like, right. I mean, yeah. I didn't even know he knew any of that right, stuff. Right, right. Well, I'd be cautious about what you show them, but at the same time talk about, well, what does that mean? Why, why yeah, are you okay. asking? Um, how do you feel about that? You know, what does a war look like? You know, there's wars every day that he doesn't even know about. Sure. And so a lot of times yeah. help him with his fear. When he says, are we having World War III? He's already got a preconceived idea. Understand, ask him questions about what that is. What is he seeing? What is he picturing? Yes. At, at a time like this, would you kind of, as a parent, limit the screen time for your kids? You know, like, 100%. Yeah. Um, I would make sure you're aware of what they're seeing. If you can avoid them seeing certain things, especially the younger kids that's going to stay in there, avoid it. You may have to turn off the news. You may have to make sure that social media is watched. If you can help them screen that, because especially the younger kids, it stays in there and it affects their thoughts, their memories, their dreams. It'll stay in there and, and kind of give them some anxiety and panic that uh, you'll want to avoid. Yeah, it, it's on everywhere right now. Another tip that you want parents to know is to avoid labels. What do you mean by that? Yeah, this, you know, we can get into, you got the bad guys against the good guys. Okay. You yeah. know, and, we can, and these people are horrible and this is what they want to do. And, and I think a lot of times what happens is we give those stereotypes. So the first time a young person in junior high meets someone from Russia, they've all of a sudden assumed that they're a bad guy. Mm -hmm. or they're a bad person. So avoid those labels. Um, talk about what's going on, but you don't have to say, this is how I feel about it. Mm -hmm. uh, right now, you just want to help them with information. Okay. And your last one real quick, focus on the helpers. That's a good mm -hmm. one. Yeah, this is a great part of the story is there's a lot of great stories coming out of there. There's a lot of people that are helping others, helping pets. I mean, we're seeing a lot of that. Help them see those stories. Help them get excited about people that stepped up during this thing. That's a great thing for our elementary and junior high kids to remember and yes. have that dialogue. We yeah. even had a story where a little boy was just tying ribbons, the Ukrainian yes. colors around trees. So right. that's exactly. something yeah. to share with the kids. That's a great way of spending the time. Yeah, Donnie, thank you. We appreciate it. If you have a question for Donnie, send it to askdonnie at news9.net or you can visit his website, counseling1820.com.